Hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Paolo Graphics. Relax and let's get started for today's tutorial. Hello guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Paolo Graphics. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching how you can create a fading effect and blend your images with your background. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is that I'm going to be I'm going to be importing the PNG file that we are going to be using, the image. This is the image we are going to be using. So I'll copy it and I'll copy it to. Yeah, this is it. Let's change this background. Let's change it to white. Let's delete this text. So this image, let's go to all this add over to the relative size and we we'll increase it to the maximum just like this. So let's let's reduce it a little bit like this. And place it at the center, place it down, then let's lock it. Let's lock the image. So we are going to be changing the background of this. And we are going to be changing the background of this canvas. We are going to be changing it to the color of the image. So this is the this are going to click on the plus icon. Then you click what you click on you click on the plus icon and you click on the picker tool. This tool this to enable you to pick any color on any image. So we are going to click on that and click on our image. Then we tap on our image. You can just see color of the image. And just tap on it then it has picked it just like that and click on ok it has changed the background of the canva so what we have to click on the check mark so what we are going to be doing next is that we are going to create a fading effect this way we are going to be creating a fading effect just follow me closely so you can know how i'm going to go back to click on the plus icon up here then you click on shape then uh, you go to gradient another gradient just choose any presets any preset gradient maybe like this yeah just to click on the plus icon then you click on less this one you can tap on this you can tap on this if you want to add another gradient you tap on the plus icon if you want to uh, if you want to remove the gradient you tap on the minus icon so we are only going to be dealing with these two so we are going to tap on this white first click on the buckets then now let us change this click on the picker tool again we are going to change this again here yeah, to the color of the background or you can tap on the image but let's choose the color of the background then click on ok ok so this black one we are going to click on the bucket again we are going to in this this we are going to put it to the extreme you can see Put it to the extreme to reduce the opacity to the lowest then click on ok after that we can now increase this pink color can i increase it just like this maybe yeah just a little bit like this click on ok you can see you can these are fading effects so these are we can create a fading effect you can see our image has blended with the background so you can just see it. click on the check mark just if you want to duplicate it more you can just duplicate the Gradient effect, duplicate it, put it like this. You see, something just like that. It's just as easy as that. So one more thing before we leave is that I'm going to be, I want to import a background. Another background is different from color. So how you can, I'm going to be teaching you that you can blend your image with any background you download from any site. So go download. Yes, let's choose something like this. Let's choose something like this. Yes, can go to relative size, increase it, send it to the back. Let's send it to the back, and let's delete this gradient, this gradient effect. Then we are going, what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be click on. The, we are going to create a shape again. Click on this button. Click on shapes. Then we are going to go to gradients. Yes, gradient. So you can click on any preset gradient. 
click on the plus icon this white one and let's let's switch it let's switch it like this yes let's switch it like this so this white one i'm going to change it to i'm going to reduce the opacity the color to something like this so i'm going to click on ok so after that let us expand it and place it here and what we are going to do is that click on ok we're going to go to texture texture of that fading effects that we just created so we click on the texture so we go and we go and this is the background choosing then you copy it just copy to this down side you can copy to this down side click on ok after clicking on ok let's go to relative to just like this can enable it let's go to the no not relative to you can just enable it like this you can just enable it like this you guess you can just enable it and click on ok you can see that's choosing the color the damp part of the background you can just you see you can just, just you can just you can duplicate if you are not okay with the with the how it's in the blending mode you can just click on another one you see so our image and blended with the background so this is a simple way how you can create a gradient effect in pixel lab and how you can blend your images with different kind of background from irrespective of where you are downloading the resources from so thank you so much for your time oh please if you are new to this channel i want you to subscribe to this channel because this will go a long way in helping me and encouraging me in putting more design video on design tricks and tips on this channel and also i want you to help me to like this video because this will help me with the youtube algorithm to recommend this video to other viewers on youtube and also you can share this video to people that might also find this helpful thank you so much for your time and god bless you i'll see you in the next video peace out